Hi everyone, welcome to another Green Leaf Terrain Studio update. Just before I get these pieces flocked up, I will come back in the end of this studio update and show you the flocking before I set them aside to dry. But I just wanted to show them off all the painting I did. So there are, you know, a couple things that are going to be hidden with the flock and whatnot, like uh, this red kind of extended over and whatnot, but I'll just hide that with some flock. But uh, it was painted up to match the scheme of client, so it's like a bone colored uh, motif with the red accent in all of the all of the cracks. They're all pretty much the same. I this is one I never showed off before, so I made a I made a ruined a ruined version. There's enough actual room to make a. a 25 millimeter base fit through here. Two wall sections just have guy on there. I also did all the grime, the grime streaking on them to weather them up a little bit. There's this glowy pyramid, which is glowing red. And that'll look better with all the flock, I think. It, I don't. It looks okay, but I'm not really sure it really fits in with these other guys. I think it does. Mm. We'll see what the client says. And I got the painting finished on this uh, Space Marine base. So the rock work was done with a series of washes and then hit with my airbrush. All of the uh, base work is painted with airbrush. Object source lighting is airbrushing. Uh, got some mm, AK Interactive grime streaking on there. The top is just sand and I wanted it to be like an ash asphalt kind of like motif uh, and be like pretty stark different from the concrete of the the base and so this rock work just works all the way around I put some uh, mm, plugs for trees these trees are gonna go in and this tree is actually standing in front of this light so I sprayed it up for the object source lighting wheel hit off the tree there so once the flocking is done, that'll get done. And this roof is magnetized. You got the two big magnets there. It's just a dark gray, the base coat of all, all of the, the rest of this, but there's no real point to wasting my paint to paint this guy up and it's, it's okay being dark. You don't, you don't see it in the gap or anything. And so this inside has all been airbrushed up and detailed up. I guess I'll just start with this front room. Just got a couple uh, acrylic panels that have orange object source lighting off the uh, off the walls. The panels actually just from the lighting above cast a, a cool little spot on the below there. I got object source lighting on this open door. These doors again slide out. Oh, just trying to do it one handed here. Slide in and out. Where you can open and close those. These ones lead back into this kind of uh, barracks area where you have two sets of bunk beds. Uh, I didn't fill out a lot of this central space where you can actually, like, you know, get your hand in there and place a lot of miniatures. You know, a whole 10 squad of guys could stand behind there, so you could do a thing where you gotta enter the base and. Uh, assault the, the barracks or something. So this is like the command center with uh, all the uh, acrylic guys. Just have a door that I made out of a little bit of MDF. Um, I mean uh, plastic card. Not sure if I should do a little bit more detailing to that. I might. I probably will come in there actually and do something more. It looks kind of plain. We got this uh, little panel to access the door to go inside. And then in here is like a supply room. It's got this little uh, tube type deal, I don't know, just something to go in the corner to make it look filled up. And then you have a rack of Space Marine helmets that have been painted up purple with like the red eyes and they have the object source lighting from the, the light above and then there's a couple grenades on there and then there's just a simple little weapon rack here with a couple uh, bolters, a uh, I think there's a melted gun and a flamer in there. So that's the, the 
base and I will come back and show you guys what's up when I'm done flocking. So here we are. All the pieces have been flocked up. The base is flocked and put on the shelf. It's drying right now. And it's kind of hard to show these guys because it's all wet and everything and I need to come back in and put bushes and then seal those too. So uh, some bigger bushes will be put on these guys. So this is just pretty much the overall look right now for the client. They're just sitting on this uh, plastic sheeting to protect my table because they are all sealed with matte medium water mix and for the rest of this Saturday night I'm going to be painting some miniatures and messing around making a little piece of terrain with that caboose there so thanks for watching please subscribe if you have any custom terrain you want quotes on or miniature painting commissions you can email me at info at greenleafterrain.com and I'll get back to you other than that, happy wargaming.